While playing the Switch with friends on your nice big screen TV is great, what if I told you you can actually do the exact same thing? Play on the big screen, but without it ever being stuck plugged in into the wall. That's what I try to figure out with my three months indoors. But, well, actually, let me show you guys something. This is the Ticket Anywhere portable switch setup. And today, we're gonna find out all the things that were required to get this type of setup up and running. All right, let's get started. I look so dumb holding this in my hand, but if I didn't do this, you wouldn't be able to see my face. So anyway, let's get started. First, I want to point out this idea was heavily inspired by Dave Lee of Dave2D, where in a video of a mini projector, he said the following. My favorite thing about this device though, is seriously this thing paired with one of these things, those like retro gaming consoles from Nintendo. That made me think, hey, that'd be pretty cool, but with a Nintendo Switch instead, you know, something more modern. But how? The Nintendo Switch requires its own AC adapter being used, and looking up third-party solutions on the internet is a mess, and nobody wants to brick their Nintendo Switch because of a cheap accessory they bought. So we have to utilize the AC adapter. So that's where this guy comes into play. This is the star of this video, the RAV Power AC Portable Charger, 20,000 milliamp hour battery bank. This is a product RAV Power actually sent over to me to take a look at, and I thought this project was a great showcase of what this little bad boy can do. They also sent over this 65 watt USB-C power brick, which is tiny compared to similar watt power bricks, making it a great travel companion to charge all of your USB Type-C devices, like your Nintendo Switch, your iPad Pro, your Android phone, and laptop. But enough about that. How does this chunky power bank help us? Unlike most battery banks, this one has a power outlet. This solves our wall issue. Charge up the power bank, plug the AC adapter from the switch dock into this power bank, and hold down the power button on the RAV Power power bank for three seconds until the outlet turns on. Now your switch works fi- Wait, something's missing. We- <laughs> We don't have a display. I don't see anything. See, this part is where Dave's video inspired me. How can we get a large but portable display that doesn't need to be plugged in? If you thought portable projectors, you're a genius. Or maybe you just saw the very first minute of this video. Either way, that's the route I went. I bought this, the Anchor Nebula Apollo, which I would describe as a decent projector. This one's at 200 ANSI lumens, has four hour battery life, has an HDMI port to connect our Switch to, decent speakers, and still super, super portable. And it fits into the same case that comes with the RAV Power battery bank at the same time. They're like two friends, chilling in that case. Of course, this setup isn't portable if you carry it around like that. I really suggest a backpack with a laptop or tablet sleeve to safely store your Switch and a water bottle pouch to store something like a Gorilla Pod for better adjustment of the projector when on the go. Also, you can get an extra battery bank and this AC to USB adapter to charge the projector if it runs low on batteries. But I found the RAV Power battery, when connected to the switch, runs out of juice faster than the projector if they're both fully charged. With the Nintendo Switch connected to the RAV Power battery bank, I found that you can get around three and a half hours of game time from the Nintendo Switch before the battery bank dies. I tested this by opening up Super Smash Bros Ultimate and made a match with eight level nine CPUs with 99 stock. It was so fun having to wait for 99 lives just for Captain Falcon to finally need Dark Samus for that finishing blow. I had to repeat similar matches two more times before the battery actually died. If you want 50% more gameplay time, RAV Power also has similar products with different capacities of 30,000 milliamp hours. I personally stray away from the 30,000 milliamp hour one because at that size, it's not allowed on airplanes, and it looks like you could hurt a guy with that brick. 
I think a common question a lot of people will now have about this video is, why not do this with a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or even a PC? Well, the poor battery bank wouldn't be able to do that well. It only provides up to 80 watts of continuous power and those devices go over that threshold and even if they could, battery life would be terrible because those things consume more power. Playing games on this portable switch setup is nice, but it's not the best experience. The picture is only 480p and you have limited runtime. But people would really enjoy this type of thing like playing Mario Party on a big screen at parties or for a cool night outside. And the best part? This whole thing is modular. You can take the projector out and replace it with a higher powered one with more resolution or higher brightness. You could even switch out the battery bank to a smaller or larger one with an AC outlet like we mentioned earlier. You could even add better speakers than those found on the projector. And finally, you can take each of these items and use them all separately. This projector has Android TV and can be used as a Bluetooth speaker. The battery bank itself can charge things like your laptop, your smartphone, whatever. And really, that's what I love most about all, all of this in general. All these items are individually already pretty cool pieces of tech, but together they can do some amazing things. Do I suggest you go out and do this for a full-time thing? No, it's pretty situational where you can actually use this entire setup, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was cool and you may too. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up doing something similar. Well, that's it for this video. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Is this neat? What other cool tech combinations have you come up with that not too many people think of? What kind of crazy things have you been doing in quarantine? Leave all that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.